Hello, e-girls and e-freaks, and welcome back to another video where I am talking. I've kind of gotten into the habit of doing these things where I can't, uh, I can't sleep at like 3 a.m., and so I sit down to just talk about some weird shit uh, that is only really, like, relevant to me, I think. I would say I need to get this off my chest, but I don't. Uh, I just, I just thought it would be interesting to, to kind of spell out my thoughts and maybe... Some of you guys would find it interesting too. I just want to talk to myself, okay? I'm just a base schizophrenic. I'm just a base and schizo pilled schizophrenic, okay? Anyway, so I want to be a sellout. It's the title of the video, it's the theme for today. What do I mean by that? I've been doing YouTube for a while now, and in the last year and a half, I've really been trying to take it uh, like seriously as a, as a job and a means of income, right? Because really in the past year, it's gotten to the point where I've been able to really focus on it and make it uh, you know, my job. I don't have a, a job outside of this. I mean, obviously I have college, um, but this is really what I do. And it's, it's been that way since high school ended. And in that time, I've been trying to improve my content a lot and just spend a lot of time on YouTube, um, You know, whether it be making videos on my main channel or working on side projects with other people or just you know making videos here. And I wouldn't describe it as hard work because at the end, you know, it's not it's not manual labor. I'm just sitting down at my computer and like doing research through a computer. I write stuff, I record stuff, I edit that stuff, and then that gets posted. It's not like I'm doing any backbreaking, like physically or really mentally taxing work. It's just not the case. And that's why I find it really annoying when I see people be like, oh, YouTube is the hardest job. YouTube is the hardest job ever. And you know, I'm just so burnt out and sad. I mean, if you're if you're making some like insane investigative piece where you just risk your life to expose the fact that some Indian tech channel is actually owned by a warlord who is enslaving thousands of children to produce knockoff Nintendo Joy-Cons. Like, okay, you know, I get it. Maybe you're traveling around the world, storming beaches, you know, taking out terrorists. Uh, I, I guess I, I understand you're doing some good for the world. But in most cases, like, YouTube is a pretty cushy job. It, there's not a lot of, like, those stresses that I just listed. Uh, I saw this one tweet from this kid. I'm gonna I'm avoid naming him. Okay, I'm gonna avoid naming him because, you know... He probably gets uh, bullied enough for being a little dork. Uh, but I saw this tweet from this kid and he was saying like, uh, YouTube is the hardest job and it's harder than any other fucking manual labor or any other job possibly in the world. And what he specifically says is he's like, it's because no one else has to deal with stalking and harassment and like mean comments. Dude, I, I promise you that no amount of people calling you cringe on Twitter or in your YouTube comments will equate to the work being put in by a guy who works like 12 hours a day putting skyscrapers and houses together. Like you, you got, you have it pretty good. Okay. I think maybe people who are really young and get this job kind of take it for granted and don't realize just how sweet of a deal it really is like being able to creatively express yourself to an audience of people who uh like specifically are like in your niche and like are, are like people like you and uh you know you specifically appeal to them uh, in a way that like you would not have been able to do in any other time in the world other than right now like if you had been born 10 years ago you probably would not you you would not have been able to do this at the time you want to like it's just mind-blowing how like ungrateful people are for the position they're in although this guy is also like a very like self-pitying like he's like guy he's always like obsessed with his feelings like he's you know he hasn't had a lot of life hardships and yet he always manages to like make up some reason that his audience should feel bad for him i notice that a lot in people and uh you know I think there's a huge difference between people who are actually like depressed and have like mental anguish and a lot of issues, um, you know, whether it be like a like like just a thing in their brain where it's like a chemical imbalance, or whether it be like you know due to hardships in their life. And then there's these people who like want to be depressed because I think it's like the cool thing to do that like gets attention on them. And unfortunately, people do reward them for that, but that's a whole other conversation. But yeah, YouTube is a pretty nice job, and you know, I try to spend a lot of time on it. I probably spend a pretty normal work day on YouTube, actually, every day. Um, around eight hours a, a day in total, and that's pretty consistent. I usually don't even take weekends off, actually. Um, and that's not because I, like, have to, I have to be constantly working. Like, I could take weekends off. I could probably, like, work one week and then take a week off if I wanted to, but I actually enjoy working and putting out as much content as I can. I want to, uh, be the best, be the best me I can be. And, um, you know, one of the things that makes me happiest in life is genuinely just making YouTube videos. And that's why I spend so much time on it. I really like it as a job and I feel really grateful that, you know, it's at such a young age, I've been able to find something I really care about that I do for work. I feel fortunate. But something I've always wrestled with on YouTube is like talking about things that I don't care about. I see a lot of channels on YouTube. Um, I'm not gonna name names of this one either because I don't want this to be like a call out post. You know, obviously I, I've known, I'm accustomed to that, but there's, it's also like there's so many examples 
examples that it wouldn't even be worth naming anyone. But basically, like, I see a lot of people talking about shit that they don't, they clearly don't care about or give a shit about, and you can kind of tell. It's just stuff that's happening that they feel the need to talk about because, hey, it's their job. You know, you have to make the 18th video about why Tommy Innit said the thing on Twitter. It, it must be done. And I don't even mean to mock people who talk shit like that because the thing is, like, the the, the point with me um, is, like, I want to do it. I wish I could do it. And maybe this will sound sort of self-aggrandizing, but every time I sit down to write about something so stupid like that or talk about it, like, I just can't. Despite all the absolutely pointless shit in my brain uh, that, that I'm allowed to talk about, whether it be Monster Energy or Wojax or, like, Sniper Wolf, like, you know, these, these are still things that, like, I'm passionate and care about and I find interesting. But if I don't find it interesting, like, I just can't, I can't just sit down and, like, write or, like, like write shit about it. At the end of the day, that stuff is so peripheral to me that, for some reason, I just can't muster up the brain power to, like, just push through. And it's not even, like, apathy. It's not, like, this jaded, like, oh, you guys are, like, sellouts. Like, that is the title of the video, which is maybe a little misleading, but, um, you know, like, I, I can actually talk about stuff for a long time and I could probably even write about like you know a lot of stuff but for some reason when I when I when I try to like react to like some dumbass video of like viners or something like I don't know like I don't even know what to say about it it's like this is just stupid like there's no commentary I can give to this that will be like like additive or entertaining in general to it and I don't know why that is I, I feel like this inability like something's fucking broken in my brain where I can't do that I could make a 12 minute video out of like talking about some like you know chick who shakes her ass and is like a dumb bitch uh but like I can't can't. What I can do is I can make the video about like why I find the culture around Twitch interesting and like uh, you know the, the the whole cam girl thing and the evolution of them. But for some reason, like the the raw reaction, uh, there's something in me that I'm just like I just I just don't have much to say. Maybe that will change. I don't know. But for now, it just it just it just hasn't. Something in me won't let me do it. And like when I sit down to record a video like this, sometimes I get even halfway through. You know, I'm sitting there reacting and I'm like, oh, wow, that's so crazy. Oh, you're like, you're like weird. And I, I just don't make it through it because, I, you know, I, it's just so gay. It's so performative. And it's even more frustrating because I feel like so many people can just sit down and do the video where they react to the thing that they don't give a shit about. And that doesn't really matter. Secure the bag, am I right? And I think people would probably even like it for me. I, I sit here and I and I, I think more, more, more people would find this channel. Uh, and like what I'm doing here and check out my other videos and like them. And then there would be a positive benefit for both me and my viewers, you know, symbiotic relationship. And with something ultimately as inconsequential and like often like integrity less as YouTube, like, you know, like just making a reaction video. There's nothing wrong with that. There's, there's no moral like qualms I have, even if you don't really care about it. Like, it, like who cares? It doesn't matter. Right. But I don't know if I'm not talking about some like weird autistic shit uh, that I actually like like and care about, then I just have to stop. I, I can't sit through the recording. I can't even make it to editing. This has happened like a handful of times over the past few years, whether it be writing or like recently uh, like reacting to things for this channel. I can't. And even if I was able to, I feel like people would easily be able to tell that something is off. And clearly I'm just like faking my, my zany reactions. Um, and this isn't to say that, like, I can't write a joke, uh, and, like, kind of, like, play it up, because obviously, like, in my videos, sometimes I, like, play a character, right? I, like, do this caricature thing. Uh, but at the end of the day, like, that's still stuff I find funny and, like, I thought of in my head, whereas, like, I feel like other people can just say shit they don't find funny whatsoever, and, like, th th they profit off of it, and it just doesn't bother them. I feel like, ultimately, the, the thing that works best for me, in, in my experience, working on YouTube and this channel and my other channel, um is, you know, I, I have to talk about things that are relevant to me and eye-catching to me. Because in the short term, I think there could be some gains from making the dream video number 500, where I just, like, talk about some tweet he made. Uh, and, you know, I have done videos about dream, but, like, they've been, like, you know, interesting kind of I, I think I had something to say about you know, about him in those videos. You know, I think there was like an interesting commentary. I put information together with a conclusion. And I think any genuine personality uh, would be filtered out if I did anything else to the point where no one would want to stick around past the topic. Kind of fucking yourself in the long run if you do that too much, in my opinion. But, you know, more people, more more power to the people that do that, I guess, if that's what they want to do, you know. Anyway, um, yeah, so that's the end of the 3 a.m. talk or whatever. Uh, I am Tom Dark. Watch some of my other videos if you like this one, including my videos about Sniper Wolf and Aiden Ross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll see you guys later, and uh, bye.